what is the best way to make money online right now? So if you're not subscribed to our channel, our answer will probably surprise you because it's something that basically no one talks about. But if you are subscribed, you probably do know what we're gonna talk about, but you're definitely still gonna wanna watch this video to the end because there's still gonna be a lot of good shit in it. Subscribe to the channel if you love making money online, you hate your job, and you'd rather do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah! Cause that's what it's all about. What are we doing? We only live one fucking life. What yeah. are we doing if we're not doing what we actually want? So you gotta live Seriously, that boss life. Like for real. <sighs> like the video too. So we think the best way to begin making money online right now in 2018 or 2019, 2020, whenever you're watching this video, self publishing if you haven't watched any of our videos you might be like self-publishing what, what the, the hell is that? is that he said something that isn't drop shipping or amazon fba or affiliate marketing or blogging we've tried a bunch of those we've by tried the way all those. we're speaking from a position of experience we've tried those like we've gone hard in those except and, blogging but i mean yeah, I, not blogging but nothing beats self publishing. Now what self publishing is quickly, it's where you create books, you can either outsource it or create them yourself. And you basically publish them, publish, publish them on the internet. And you make sales, you make royalties from those sales. And you take that money and you put it right in your pocket. Uh, yeah, we fucking love publishing. So that's that's the umbrella of this whole way to make money online, but it gets better. So it's not, better. it gets better. Continue. Yeah. So it's not just self publishing anything, not self publishing ebooks and print books that everyone else is doing. That's what everyone thinks it is. That's yeah. what it's like, that's all there is to it. Yeah. So if you're in the publishing mm -hmm. niche, uh, you think ebooks and print books, but there is a different kind of publishing that beats all of them. And, and it's not stopping right now. And it is publishing audio books. books. Yes. Audiobooks. Now, what we really want to talk about in this video is why publishing audiobooks is so much better than ebooks and print books, and why audiobook publishing is basically changing the game. Like, this shit is not about ebooks and print books anymore. It's about them damn audiobooks. Fucking facts. Yeah. And I also want to say, for people that don't know the kind of results we've had publishing audiobooks, yeah. We'll just quickly put up some screenshots. Those like, are one month screenshots. Those are not sales. Those are royalties. Like we're making real motherfucking money here. So yeah. No, but let's let's talk about why audiobooks are so great and yeah. why we think it's like the best way to make money online, but yeah. why we think it's the future of book publishing itself. Yeah. So right now there is a huge shift in the publishing market going from ebooks and print books to audiobooks. Like the shift is happening right now. Fuck ebooks when you have audiobooks. So here's the spectrum ebooks, audiobooks. We're okay. like right here in the timeline. Like we're right in the beginning. We're, we're finally we're finally realizing the shift. Now let's get into the reasons why publishing audiobooks specifically is way better than ebooks and print books. I now, wanna, I'm just gonna say ebooks and that's an umbrella term for ebooks and print books. So I don't have to say that every time. So there are really two sides to it, if you ask me. It is like why like why are people actually choosing audiobooks over ebooks now? Mm -hmm. And then why is publishing audiobooks better for us? Yes. As well. So I wanna say Those are the two sides of the coin. Yeah. So I wanna start with why is publishing audiobooks the best opportunity for us right now? Mm -hmm. And I think a really big thing is that unlike every single other mainstream way of making money online, there's actually a pretty high barrier of entry to be selling audiobooks. It's not this low, anyone can do it type thing. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. like, for once... It's so high to the point where people are like, ah, fuck it, I can't get in, I'm not gonna do it. Like, for once, there's a way to make money online here that not everyone is gonna flood to, mm -hmm. and just, honestly, like, kind of ruin it for everyone. Like, mm -hmm. there's so many dropshipping stores out there, like, it's so hard to, like, I don't know what percentage of people actually have successfully in a dropshipping store now. But it's small. Because there's 60,000 small dropshipping stores selling jewelry. Yeah, just jewelry, probably. And you're 60,000 and one. Like, you're not going to have success doing that, most likely. Yeah. Because the brave entry is so low, but with audiobooks. Hey, hey, he's done dropshipping. Oh, I did dropshipping. Okay. I did dropshipping. And don't get me started on Amazon FBA either. I started an Amazon FBA business. We both have videos about our experience with those yeah. two. And don't Link get the and if you And if you're thinking... Apps. Apps are better. Oh, no, don't get me started. I'm gonna make your apps. Apps make a lot of money. I've tried that as well. <laughs> that 
No, no, don't don't make an app. Nothing beats publishing, get back into it, Rasmus. So in the self-publishing space, there's a much higher barrier of entry for creating audiobooks as opposed to ebooks. Everyone these days has a motherfucking ebook. And their grandma. Everyone has an ebook. Yeah. They're not special anymore. They're not worth anything. And you can make an ebook like that. It yeah. takes nothing. You could just fucking open up your Kindle reader. Bleh, and puke out on it and you fucking you can sell it for money. money How many times it. have you been offered an ebook? A thousand all, times. All and it's the like time. you guys like I mean I motherfucking like, got one you get, yesterday. Like this is not worth anything. Like I'm not I'm never gonna read it. It's worthless. Like to me. you literally get offered one hundred ebooks a month for free to the point where like no ebook has any value anymore. Yeah, exactly. They're all just a damn there's some information on the internet. You can read it all on the internet. Mm -hmm. Ebooks are just not great anymore. That's where audiobooks come into play. The reason why the barrier of entry is so much higher there, one is you have to get it narrated, which is expensive, which because there's that cost, so many people are gonna choose not to do it. The other side is like, it's it's complicated. Like people don't really know how to do it, so they don't do it. It's not yeah. as simple as writing it up, like you do an ebook in a Word document mm -hmm. and putting it on yeah. a KDP. So the, the grand point of this is that yeah, the barrier of entry is higher for audiobooks, so there is just a fraction of as much competition when selling audiobooks. And it's gonna continue to be that yeah. way. But the demand is just as high as audiobooks. It's gonna it's get not higher. high and it's growing, growing, growing. But to prove this competition, I just wanted to make a quick point about ebooks, just a specific example. So if you're selling an ebook about the paleo diet compared to an audiobook about the paleo diet, with the ebook, that's how many people you're competing with. How was it like 7,000 or something? Something in that range. And then that's how many audiobooks you're competing with. And what you were saying before like, about- Are you kidding me? That's basically why audiobooks beats ebooks from our side of things as a seller. Um, because There's just no goddamn competition there, out there. There ain't no damn competition. It's too easy. Yeah. Every audiobook we've ever put up has gotten sales. Yeah. Like, it's- Now onto the other side of the equation, which is why audiobooks are so much better than ebooks from a consumer standpoint. So the big reason why there is this huge shift in the market right now from ebooks to audiobooks is because an audiobook itself is just so much more valuable than an ebook. Audiobooks are the only way that you can consume information from any book source and then multitask at and the same so time and do other shit at the same time. Yeah, because an ebook, if you're reading an ebook, that's the only thing you're doing right there. You're just reading that ebook. Yeah. But with an, an audiobook is the only way you can consume content while doing something else at the same time. I don't read, e read ebooks because I don't really have the time to. Same for you, same for everyone else we know. The other, well, about a month ago, I ordered a book to read. I, I honestly, I haven't gotten to it and I'm just too busy with other things to like s be spending time reading a book because I can't, if I could sit down for an hour and consume the whole thing, yes, but it's going to take me like 10 hours at least of like concentrated reading mm -hmm. to f get through this whole book. Like I just, I don't have time for that. But one of the best times to consume audiobooks is when you're driving and we're always driving. Everyone in America is always driving with their long ass commutes Fucking to work. Fucking two and hours back. one day yeah, two to hours. the other. And you know, instead of just sitting there in traffic, people want to be entertained, listen to something, learn something. So you know they're buying audiobooks for their commute to work and back. I wish I knew the statistic about like what percentage of audiobooks are listened to in the car. I'm just, I'm sure it's high. It's, it's a very really high percentage. High. Yeah. Cause I think Everyone that listens to an audiobook, I don't think they're sitting down and just like just doing this. Doing nothing else. Uh, they're normally multitasking. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There, no. the, there are so many scenarios where you could listen to an audiobook and where audiobooks are listened to that you can as an ebook. Yeah. Now, that, yeah, that people do all the time. One big one is driving, cooking, doing housework, running, doing chores, eating breakfast. Basically, whenever you're doing something. <laughs> That's why right now audiobooks are. I mean, should we put some stats on? I hope we can find some stats that yeah, show was, like the growth of audiobooks and uh, ebooks are actually declining in sales, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. But this is the reason why. Mm -hmm. All the options out there that they want to sell these audiobooks, they're just not, they're not even there yet. Yeah. Once they are all there, it's going to be like all audiobooks. Yeah. It's going to all be audiobooks. Also, one of the reasons why audiobooks is such a great opportunity right now to make money online is that 
It's brand new. Anyone can do it. So Simply because a of Audible and ACX, which is the seller side of things. Yeah, ACX was created in 2011. 2011, but it wasn't so until like 2012 or 2013 where you could actually put your own audio files on there. Yeah, so it's like five years old. Which is crazy. It's, it's a baby. It's it a is. five-year-old little baby. Yeah. So all I'm saying is we're so freaking early on this right now. Yeah. That's why right now is the opportunity. The same way overall book publishing 10 years ago was like... The fucking opportunity there. Yeah, yeah. Audiobooks is now that. We're living in it. So many people are not going to jump into a new way to make money online until they see a bunch of people have the results. They want to see results from like a massive group, group of people. They want everyone talking about it, saying yeah. this is the best that, way. Not until then will they get into it. And then once that time comes, the it's opportunity not like way it is now. right now is not there. So all, all I'm saying is like, you got to get in on it before you hear everyone talking about it. Because at that point, everyone's doing it. And then you got so much competition, and that's the great thing about about audiobook publishing right now is there's no motherfucking competition. Yeah, it's crazy. So this is what we genuinely, from the bottom of our hearts, believe to be the best way to make money online right now, and it is publishing audiobooks. Publishing audiobooks. People who don't know about it, it's probably like what? Yeah. Publishing audiobooks? Mm -hmm. You serious? Shit, yeah, that's the best way. So, so I guess if you want to learn more about that, subscribe to the channel. We're just making a shitload of videos all about audiobooks, audiobook yeah. publishing. Because we love our audiobooks. And I think something you'd also enjoy is that we're trying to see how fast we can take our audiobook business from absolute scratch, zero, nothing, and see how fast we can bring it up to $10,000 in royalties per month. Go watch that video. I think that's super interesting. Episode one. Mm -hmm. We will have more videos. Yeah. And episode updates on that mm. series. Yeah. So keep up with that. Then you'll see, because we want we don't just want to be all talk. We want to show you that audiobook publishing really is the real fucking deal. Mm -hmm. So so that answers that question, and that's the end of the video. Goodbye.